Back to another YouTube video. Now guys, in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is working on the rear of my car. We've got a Maxon lip spoiler, which I used on my old car, so we're gonna be putting that on the new car. I've also had Carbon Accent send out a rear gloss black diffuser, and also they've sent out some really nice, some really nice exhaust tips. So if you guys know the 140s, you will know that these are the rear diffusers, and they look absolutely awful in kind of the weird gray color, when everything else on the car is gloss black. Um, so this is basically going to get replaced with the Carbon Accents one, which is gloss black and it has some like fins and stuff like that. And also these are going to be going for some bigger, juicier tips. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Carbon Accents for sending out these exhaust tips and also for sending out the diffuser. They did actually send out these a long time ago, so they've been very patient and waited for me to do the video. And also, this is the um, this is the lip spoiler which I had on my old car, which will look quite cool on there. So if you do go ahead and enjoy this video, please make sure you leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe because I love to hear your feedback. I'm really trying to push this YouTube thing at the minute, so all your support is really appreciated. And once again, all the products we use in the video, I'll leave links and stuff in the description, also discount codes. I do believe I've got a discount code for Mac and also carbon accents but I did actually buy the spoiler myself on my old car but we're just going to be transferring on to the new one. So today I've actually got a mate come down to help me film so I'm going to get a bit of a third person view but what we're going to do is we're going to start with the spoiler so I've got the also bright like pre-wash um, so I'm just going to spray it on a cloth and wipe it all off and then we're going to use some alcohol wipes or alcohol and um, clean it all off just so we could get a proper nice bond with the sticker tape. <laughs> So we've now done the like the citrus pre-wash just to get it clean and it does feel cl absolutely clean to the touch as my camera man will show you. Um, so now we're going to use some 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. I got it. And we'll spray it all over the car, well the top, and this will just make sure it's completely grease free. The thing is with these things, the, the actual preparation is key, so what we're going to do as well is we're going to heat up the surface as well with a hairdryer, just so we get a proper nice bond. Oh, there we have it that is the lip spoiler all on the car now what we did is we got rid of like some of the sticky tape here and then on the other side we got it in place and then we pulled it from underneath and I've gone along for about 10 minutes and heated it up and, and basically just pushed it all down and it is literally solid it's not going anywhere and it is just like the original 3m tape that was on there before um, so that is pretty much stuck down and not moving anywhere but at the end once we've done this video I will just go over and just do it again just to make sure it's fully fully set now, Maxon Design has actually hooked me up with some other bits, so that'll be coming shortly, but because of the front end being damaged, I can't actually do that, but that gives you a bit of an idea of what they sent out. So anyway, let's get on to the diffuser. So this is the actual diffuser. It's gloss black, and it's kind of got like a weird bit that goes around like that and some fins. It just looks a little bit more aggressive. Um, I do believe we have to pre-drill some uh, holes in there. Uh, there's kind of two notches ready to be drilled, so we're going to do that first. Um, but yeah, it's going to look way better on the car. So what I've actually done is I've done one off camera um, just to kind of work out if we need to take off the locating pin, which luckily in this case we don't. Um, but yeah, this literally goes on perfect. It goes right to the locating pin and uh, it's going to fit absolutely perfect. We also put the uh, diffuser on, just rested it on there just to see kind of what the poke looked like. And we're pretty happy with that. So uh, let's get the other one done and then get the diffuser on. Guys, there we have it. Both exhaust tips are now on, sitting lovely, and they are all straight. What we're going to do is we're going to put the diffuser on now, and then we'll actually tighten them properly. But they're not going to go anywhere as it is. But 
Yeah. So I don't really know what we last said to the camera, but we spent probably about an hour trying to fit the fog light um, or the reflectors into the reflector sockets. Now I'm gonna be honest, the fitment isn't perfect. So if you guys do pick up this diffuser, you do, it does require some modifications. We've kind of had to like chisel a little bit out the way. We've had to drill a few bits and stuff like that, but now they do fit. But we have caused some ever so slight damages are like a little tiny chip there. Nothing that, you know, it, it can get like um, touched up and you probably won't even see it anyway. Um, but just bear in mind, you might have to uh, do a few adjustments to your one. It might just be my one, I don't know. Um, but at the end of the day, it is now done. An hour later, it's now done and ready to go on the car. So it's looking good now. <laughs> There we have it, that is now all done. Look how much better, look how much better the exhaust tips look on that. They're nice and tight, they're not going anywhere. The diffusers on, absolutely lovely. It looks absolutely amazing. I do apologize that the actual car is dirty, um, but when that is clean, it's gonna look amazing. So I just wanna say a massive thank you to Carbon Accents for sending out the diffuser and also the um, exhaust tips. I'll leave all links and stuff in the description down below and also my code BB10. And also go check out Maxton's uh, lip spoiler because I bought that on my old car, but I'm gonna be working with Maxton shortly. So uh, definitely go check them out. But other than that, please make sure you leave a like right on this video, comment and subscribe because I'd love to hear your feedback. What? I'd love to hear your feedback. I should catch you guys very shortly on a brand new video.